Hey guys, this is Tate Doolittle from Nick's Boots. Uh, excited to be launching three new products today. These are products we've been working on over the last month or so with Josh Wee at Paladin 33 out of Bend, Oregon. Um, these are gonna be our belt bags and a dop kit. We've got the large belt bag, the small belt bag, and the dop kit. I'll walk through each one and a couple of the features. We'll start with the large belt bag. Um, so this is gonna be a wax canvas. It's beautiful, the hand feel is awesome. Uh, has a little bit of water resistance to it. Um, Josh builds very high-end technical fanny packs, knife bags, tactical things like that. So love the fabric. It's got our 64 brown leather tabs on the edges. Um, we really took this and simplified the product from what Josh typically builds for his customer. Um, I've been running prototypes for the last couple months in all kinds of applications. Um, I've taken it hunting with me. I ran it yesterday. Uh, as my primary pack on, on a cow elk hunt here in Oregon. Uh, but I've also used it in the car every day. We just got back from Seoul, Korea. I had this bag on me every minute of that trip. Um, what I love about it is just having some of the most important things that I need day in and day out right there in front of me. Um, this one has a large zipper on the top, a zippered pocket on the front and on the inside, there's a pocket in the back that's divided. Uh, fits all models of the iPhone, really anything that you're gonna carry there. Inside, just one large interior pocket. You can use this for, for just about anything. Um, I really like this size. It allows me to put a decent amount of stuff in here while not being clunky. Um, it's relatively thin, so you can pull a jacket over it if, if you don't want people to see it. Uh, certainly, I think it's pretty beautiful, so I'm usually running it on the outside. Uh, two other things I'll say about this. Um, two ways you can wear it. Most people are wearing it around their waist, but it's also fairly common to wear it across the chest. Uh, we've got plenty of strap there to allow for you to do that. Um, I did pick up my latest prototype, so you will notice this is a regular plastic buckle. On all the production models, this is gonna be a Cobra buckle. If you're familiar with those, um, they're fantastic, very high quality aluminum buckles. Um, this is gonna come in two colors, this uh, heritage wax green, as well as the brown that you see on the smaller bag. Moving to the smaller bag here, um, I've used this for a dop kit at one point. Uh, currently I have some camera gear in here, uh, just lens wipes, small things like that. These are really popular right now. You're, you're seeing these from a lot of different brands, um, a little more technical oriented. Um, this one is, is that heritage wax canvas, which I think just looks beautiful. Um, same thing, it's gonna have the leather tabs, um, great high quality Made America zippers. Um, same configuration, a pocket on the front and a pocket on the inside. And also this one has a pocket on the back, same as, as the large one. I actually find I slide my phone in that when I'm trying to get it in and out. Uh, that's a great place to just slide your phone and have it handy. Um, you know, men or women uh, could wear either of these sizes. I have been running both. Um, and, and it just kind of depends what I'm using it for. The last one here, we took the, a very similar design to the belt bag and we made it into a dop kit. Honestly, this has been the surprise to me. This is, is an absolutely fantastic product. A couple things I really love about it. We, we did this triangular design um, for a couple reasons. One, it opens up really nicely without having a bunch of added material to it. So when I lay it down, I can get in there, get to whatever I want. Interior, uh, I really like what uh, Josh and John, the team down at Paladin did. Um, they built pockets on the inside. Um, this helps organize quite a bit. My experience with dop kits is everything falls to the bottom. You can't find what you want. Everything gets nasty and gross. Um, I am running this as a dop kit right now. This will hold a Sonicare toothbrush or something similar. It holds my glasses, which is always, you know, something that seems to be floating around in my bag. But it's also a little bit smaller than a lot of dop kits. For me, I really like that. I spend a lot of time on the road. It's usually two or three days at a time. Um, this seems to be the perfect size for that. Uh, lastly, zippers on the outside, um, on both sides, which I think is great. Again, just back to that idea that the organization is really simple. You can see what you want. Um, like I said, kind of a, a full loadout for three or four days, um, you know, as a regular dop kit. The other thing I would say for this bag is it's really general purpose. So you could use this as a dop kit as I am. I've run camera gear in this. I've run hunting gear. I've run cords. You know, when you're on a trip, you've got 10 phone chargers, a computer charger. This is a great bag for that. Um, all these are gonna be live on site as soon as you see this video. The dop kit, the small belt bag, the large belt bag, they're all available in both green and brown.